This topic is going to talk about multilink. This example using serial port to connect master HMI and PLC. And using Ethernet to connect master HMI and slave HMI. This example only uses one slave HMI to demonstrate. The slave HMI and master HMI can connect the same PLC at the same time. Select link. Setting a link to connect the PLC. Setting a multi-link master. Interface type. Interface type of multi-link master. Destination link. Select the name of the PLC which wants to connect. Port. The port that multi-link master connects with. This port needs to connect with the slave. IP filter. When enabled, the multi-link master will only allow the IP of the slaves on the list to connect with the master. Operation lock. Master HMI can use function switch or enable screen touch lock to lock the slave HMI operation. Enable screen touch lock. Touch the master HMI screen can lock all slave HMI operation. Timeout. Master HMI didn't operate exceed the setting time. Unlock the slave HMI. Select link. Setting a multi-link slave. Interface type. Interface type of multi-link slave. Destination link type. The link type of multi-link master and the device. Manufacturer. The manufacturer of the device that multi-link master connects. Product series. The product series of the device that multi-link master connects. IP address. IP address of the slave that want to connect with the master. Port. Multi-link slave connect to the Ethernet port of the master. Select the compile which is in the project. Select the download current project to download the project into slave HMI. Select the compile which is in the project. Select the download current project to download the project into master HMI. Users can use master HMI and slave HMI to control the same PLC. All the multilink function works properly.